everybody, welcome back. So uh, we are going to do a split Dutch pour today, kind of like we did with Illusion. Um, we're going to do more Easter themed colors um, because uh, this coming Sunday is Easter. And um, this is going to be part one of the part two series. Part two is we will come back and uh, seal it and I'll show you how I put the backs on my paintings and finish them up. But part one is just going to be the pour. Some people only like to see the pour. And so we're just going to do part one. And um, so these are our colors today. Uh, our black and our white are the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Black. 10 ounces of My Pouring Medium Mixture. 2 ounces of paint and 1 ounce of water. And I did add some of this PPG metallic tones, uh, the silver base, to all of the colors. So every single one of the colors has a metallic sheen to it. And um, it was about, I think probably about 2 ounces, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ounces of this metallic tones into the white and the black. And then I added the same amount of water to it. And then in the smaller ones, it was about 0 0.1 ounce um, with 0.1 ounce of water added to it. All of these colors are mixed the same except for our metallic gold. Um, so we've got the bare. So we're using some house paints today. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bluegrass type green color. So this is Verdant Forest. We've got the Deco Art Outdoor Living Pansy. Bare. Um, blue Edge and the Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living Garden Party. All of those are four ounces of pouring medium, one ounce of paint, and 0.5 ounces of water. And then we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics 24 karat gold, and that one was four ounce of pouring medium, 0.8 ounces of paint, and 0.8 ounces of water. So those are all of our colors, all of our mixture ratios. I'm going to get all of this stuff moved out and bring our canvas in, and then we will go from there. All right. So this is a 20 by 24 Artist Loft Level 1 canvas. One side was prepped with the DecoArt Americana Snow Titanium White, and the other side was prepped with the Americana Decor Outdoor Living Iron Gate. We are going to um, pour all of the colors in the middle, white on one side, black on the other, pull the colors in, and then push them out. All right, let's get started.
All right, we are going to leave it just like that. Um, I'm probably going to leave it here for the rest of the day. I'm going to put a topper on the excess paint so that um, we can use it in a flip cup. I was going to go ahead and do it now, but we are going to hold off. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit, get the edges to kind of harden up before I move it. So we will be back um, when this is dry enough to move. And we'll we use these excess paints for a flip cup. See y'all soon. Hi everybody, we're back. Um, it has been about about four hours. Um, the painting was dry enough on the edges. They, they finally kind of firmed up and um, I was comfortable enough moving it. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to do a multi cup flip. Um, all the paints that we use for the other one. So we don't have to go through colors and all that kind of stuff again. And we are going to go ahead and get this done.
All right, that is it. We are all done. We are going to let this dry right here. We have some beautiful lacing going on. Hopefully too many of these cells don't pop up, but we'll see what happens. So thank you very much for joining me for part one. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. All right, so here is the closer look. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. This is part two. Um, I hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, really excited about the way this dried. We don't have any cracking. I was a little worried about the paint that we left in the middle. We don't have any cracking or anything. So um, we are going to go ahead and get this sealed. I have already taken it outside and I have done a couple coats of the Krylon spray lacquer. Again, I put this on because one, it seals the paint and also it gives a good surface for the polycrylic to adhere to. We are using the Min Wax water-based polycrylic, the clear gloss, and we are putting it on with a, it's all stuck, with an all paints and stains Trilon filament, a soft bristle brush. This is a two and a half inch. By using a bristled brush, and by doing the Krylon lacquer first, it helps prevent any cracking as you um, as it dries. And then also we're gonna do multiple coats, multiple thin coats. That's another thing that helps it not crack is doing multiple thin coats. I have learned that as you get the first few on, if you accidentally put a coat on really, really thick, you're actually going to lose your gloss or your, your glossy shine and it's going to become very matted. Um, so again, always really thin coats. Sometimes you have to have four or five to get the shine that you want, but um, it's completely worth it in the end. So we are going to go ahead and get this done. I always put my poly on in the direction that the paint is flowing, just like you would wood grains. Always go in the direction of your paint. And we're just gonna go nice and slow back and forth. Once I get the first coat on, you'll see me go this like this. What I'm doing is I'm making sure as you bring your brush over, sometimes it skips and you're gonna get a little holiday here right along the sides. And so you'll see me pull everything in all the way around to make sure that we get, we don't have any holidays and then I'll smooth it out. And then I will use a foam brush to just seal the edge as well, okay? So we are going to go ahead and get started. Okay, we've got the first coat on that one. I'm gonna move this one off to the side. We are gonna bring over our other one. We are gonna do the exact same thing. This one has been coated with the Krylon spray lacquer, two coats. And when I say two coats, whew, I always go this direction and then this direction as well. So doing kind of a cross hatch to make sure that you get every single piece. Again, this polycrylic has a um, 
does not react very well going straight onto acrylic paint. I don't know if it's the acrylic paint or it's the Floetrol or what, but it just, that's where you're going to get cracking and all that, and it's going to pull and you're going to get brush strokes. So um, this is, is what I use, and it helps the polyacrylic go on a lot smoother. So exact same technique as we did on the other painting. All right, we've got our first coat on. We are gonna come back and do one more coat together and then we're gonna wrap everything up. See y'all soon. Okay, we are back, it is all dried. This is the vinyl that we are gonna put on it. This is where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. Ruth 1, Ruth 1, verse 16. Now that we have our vinyl on, and yes, I make my own vinyls, um, and I do have a website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net, where you can um, get vinyls. I have all kinds, um, dog rescue, scripture, superhero, some anime, some movie stuff, all kinds of things. Okay, so we have the vinyl on, and we are going to go ahead and put another coat of the polycrylic on to seal the vinyl onto the painting. Alright, that is it. We are going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I will do my best to get back to you. Um, down in the descriptions, the paint colors used as well as um, all of the materials used today. Links are also down there, there for the materials I used um, so you can purchase them online if you'd like. Also in the description, links to my Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my website, guidedbyfaithdesigns.net, where you can find these vinyls. Um, this painting will be available on my website very soon, and as well as the other painting. Give you guys one more look at that one. Alright, this one also as well. And um, I will probably put one more coat on this one, two more coats on the other one. 
and I will post the macro shots as well as the photos of the finished products at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Hope everybody has a wonderful and blessed day, and God bless.